What's up guys, it's Zach here from Top Notch Fishing and today I'm going to teach you guys how to tie a Texas rig. Now, the Texas rig is an extremely good technique. It catches you lots of fish year round, bass, every, lots of species. And let's first start off with the terminal tackle part of it, the hooks and the weights. Now, there's a couple different styles of hooks you can use for the Texas rig. One being the EWG. Now this is a Bass Pro Shops XPS um, Super Lock EWG hook. It's a very strong hook, as you can see, and it is an EWG. Um, it goes around into that straight point and has a bit wider gap. Um, you can use these for craws, flipping, almost anything, swim baits. And yeah, I'll get in more into this later. And then there's the round bend. Worm hooks. This is a Gamagatsu 3 aught round bend. Um, and see, this one has the round bend. And same style. Just this one has, these are both 3 aught. They're about the same length. This one just has a bigger gap. The wide gap EWG. And this one's a bit thicker. This one I use all the time. This 3 aught Gamagatsu. Not this exact hook, but these hooks. And they are amazing. They're super sharp. Gamagatsu is definitely, and Bass Pro Shops and Trocar are probably the three brands and like the only three brands I'd buy text rig hooks from. Next are the tro are the flipping hook style. These are Trocar flipping hooks. This is the four rot. If you're gonna get flipping hooks, three and four rot are probably the best two sizes. They fit the most baits. But this is just a really nice, really strong hook. And if you look at that tip really closely, it's got, got like, it's surgically sharpened. This is extremely sharp. And it has that place for the snail knot. Comment below if you want me to show you guys how to tie a snail knot. This is just a great hook for flipping into mats and stuff. And then the last hook are the G-lock hooks. These ones are kind of like the EWG hook, as you can see. This is the 3 out. They're a little bit smaller. And if you can as you can see this um, end right there kind of goes up and down. It's angled downward. And um, this gap is bigger from the eye to the gap of the hook. It's um, way bigger than the EWG and the round bend. This is one of my favorite hooks for everything. And now the terminal part any type of weight, um, bullet weights. This is a quarter ounce Bass Pro Shops XPS weight. This is just a quarter ounce. I use quarter th to three eighths, three sixteenths. And then here's just a little egg sinker. The nice thing about these egg sinkers is you can put them like if you don't. I have a quarter ounce weight. I don't want to go up to a three eighths ounce, but I need a little bit heavier. You can just take like an eighth ounce egg sinker, put it underneath, and it works really well. So. Bullet weights or worm weights are the way to go. And so, guys, now we're going to get into tying it. Um, so, let's start off. The first thing you're going to need to do is take your weight. Here's just the quarter ounce weight. Just take your weight and your line, and you can wet it so it slides better. And you're just going to want to take your weight and put that little hole in the top and just push it through till the bottom. There you go. Now you got your weight on the line. And then see you can use these egg sinkers to add a little bit of weight. Just same thing. Put it on just like that. And then what you're going to want to do after that is tie on your hook. Now for this I am just going to use the 3 aught Gamagatsu worm hook. That's probably if you were going to buy one hook for Texas rigs. I would Totally, this would be the hook I'd tell you to buy. So, we're just going to tie a quick advanced clinch knot, which is my favorite knot. And you can use um, pretty much any plastic on these as long as it fits on your hook. You might have to get a smaller or bigger hook for specific plastics. And, um, yeah. So there's a quick advanced clinch knot. Snip my tag end. And um, now what you want to do is put on your plastic. 
I got right here the Yum Crispy Craw in black and blue. One of my favorite Texas rig baits. It has a big wide kicking motion, those pinchers. This is just an amazing Texas rig bait. What you're going to want to do, put it right side up. Put the hook into the bait until it gets just before that bend. So right about there. Push through. Go up. And around. And put that over the eye to protect your knot. Go down. Find out where you want it. Then just go down into the bait and then just like that and then you can pull it forward push it on to cover that tip up and there you go there's your texas rig um with your young christy craw these things look amazing in the water it's probably my favorite technique and just quickly the rod i'm using here this is an Abu Garcia Ver Vertices um, 2.0. This is a, a seven foot medium heavy. This is my main Texas rig rod. I can throw smaller jigs on this too. And some sw and I throw some swim baits and stuff. Some like jig head swim baits. And I got the Shimano Casitas 151HG left handed um, on here. I love this reel. And my favorite line, 15 pound fluorocarbon to throw these Texas rigs on. Works amazing. And for some of your smaller Texas rigs, like with the G-lock hook and maybe like smaller worm or something, this is my other rod. I use this rod for almost everything. Fortunately, it has no line on it as you can see. This is the Johnny Mars Carbon Light Bass Pro Shops rod. I have two of these, one in heavy. And, um, it's just a medium fast action. It's got a really nice tip, 6.6. Six. Abu Garcia Revo SX, 6.4 to 1. I use this for everything, and I do use like swim baits on Texas rigs on those G lock hooks and worms and everything. So, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can stop it. So, guys, now I just want to quickly show you guys some modifications you can do to this Texas rig to make it better. So, I just snipped off the Texas rig. And the first thing is peg. Now, sometimes I would not recommend peg it, and sometimes I would. On grass and stuff, yes, definitely. Sometimes in rock, you know, you be the judge. I'll make a video on when to peg and when not to. But pretty much these are just Bass Pro Shops pegs. They got that little loop. You just put your line in it. Grab the peg. Pull it off. And there you go. But see, it does leave a little kink in your line. So I just take my scissors. I pull my peg up my line for a little ways. And I just take my scissors and just go snip. So then that does not break. And then I'll just put my weight on. And that's just going to keep that weight snug wherever you want. And this is, can also be a quick way to do a Carolina rig. Just now put another peg on and pull it up the line. And then the other thing you can do is add something like this, a rattle. This is just a heart attack tackle rattle. It came with one of the jigs, um, and I'm using that jig as a silent jig. And I just take the rattle, it has a little hole there, slide it on. And then you can also put beads on anywhere to separate the weight from the um, rattle from the all that from the wrap from the hook and then yeah again just tie on your hook and probably my favorite bait for these Texas rigs of all time and it's caught me the most walleye, and I am a walleye guy. I fish walleye. Is these? These are the Zoom Z Cross Junior. This is the best color. It's black and blue. I use lots of black and blue in all the crop. Not as much green pumpkin. That right there has caught me more walleye. Just Texas rig. And I've also started trying this new color out. Um, black light is what it's called. 
and it's another black base color, but it's a black with purple flake. And yeah, um, this one has caught me a bunch of walleye, and these are also good jig trailers. Then again, see, just put it on, through, around, up, over, and see, you can pull it back. There's another way. Just put it through just like that so the hook isn't pointing through. Do that. Pull your peg down. Cinch it tight. And there's your modified Texas rig, your advanced Texas rig. Got that rattle. Do that. Um, that bead protecting it all. But guys, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That was how to do the Texas rig one on one. I really went in depth with it. Um, hopefully getting more fishing videos out. Um, I have an order coming from Bass Pro Shops, which should be here within the next two or three weeks. So hopefully get an unboxing on that. School's almost out. Do lots of fishing and hopefully get a bunch of it on film for you guys. So thanks for watching. Go follow me on Instagram at Top Notch Fishing and DM me. I'll answer you or try to answer you. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time.